So this video is going to be about how to reserve tables with Dialogflow with your AI chatbot, but to integrate it with Google Calendar. So basically, all of your reservations will basically be uh, saved onto Google Calendar, and you can see them, you can edit it, and you can create an appointment system or a reservation system. Uh, so before we go get into the code, which will be in the fulfillment, uh, we, we first want to make an intent which will actually get the information. So over here I made an intent called restaurant.booking.create and I have these training phrases and I have these uh, actions and parameters. So as you can see I have I have all these entities what, from numbers to date and time the reserv what time the reservation is well, what's the date how many how many guests um we got the their email and their phone number so all of this is going to be taken and it's going to be saved onto google calendar so before we get into the code uh, i'm going to show you an example of basically how this works so first let me get into google calendar so calendar.google.com so I'm going to make a reservation for tomorrow at 2 p.m. So can I book a table? This is the chatbot um, that, you know, I made. So let's say, uh, how many people are coming? Let's say I have my family coming, so four people. So what day? Tomorrow. tomorrow. At what time? Tomorrow at 2 p.m. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it's going to confirm my book my reservation for this time. So for testing purposes, uh, uh, I put um, basically uh, uh, this this format. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make it simpler in the future. So you will need your name, phone number, email address. Email address. Name, phone number, a random phone number. Wait, I need to make sure it's ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, I have to see if my mic. Okay, there we go. Mic's working. Um. I'm going to put some random Gmail account. Okay. So it's going to load up. It's going to basically make a reservation. Uh, say thank you. It says my name. And then it says that you su it successfully booked the table for four guests tomorrow at 2 p.m. So as you can see over here, it actually did. Wow. Okay. It did, did it for 1 p.m. Okay. That's... Um, Okay, that's weird, but did I make it for, oh, I think it's because of, like, the spring, like, it's, uh, back by, uh, okay, I, that's time zone stuff, so I must have put the wrong time zone, uh, that, that's an easy fix, so I, I'll show you in the code, uh, okay, so as you can see, I didn't, it didn't make a reservation, and then I, we've got my, my email, my phone number, and my name with the time, so this is pretty useful, and I also made the code whereas if I make a reservation at the same time, it won't allow me to. So, like, can I reserve a table? Okay, let's do like a hundred, one thousand guests for what date? Um, tomorrow. Oh, what time? Now? Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Wait. See, look, you cannot make a reservation for more than 100 guests. Please try remaking your reservation. So as you can see, also go to the code. So if someone does 100 guests, well, let, let's try negative guests. And okay, you kind of get the point. Wait, reserve. Oh, I don't even know. What, what am I doing? Okay. So it's basically prepared for all scenarios, um, which I'll show you in the code. You need to reserve a table for with at least one uh, person. Please try again. So what if you reserve a table and you put a date in the past? So can I reserve a table? Oh, and if you want to skip to like the code part, you can definitely do that. 
because this is just, I'm just showing you all the possible scenarios and I'll, and then you'll understand the code. So can I reserve a table and just work on let's say five for what day? Day after tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow. let's just write the day. Oh, wait, not day after tomorrow. At what time? 2 p.m. So as you can see, it's day after tomorrow because it's the sixth. Uh, okay. So I can also make an email entity L code thing. I can also make a make. Uh, I can also code like where uh, the reservation confirmation gets sent to this email. Okay. So as you can see, um, you know it's a pretty good thing. Pretty, you know, simple reservation system. And now I'm gonna get into the entities. Okay. Now let's drive into the code. So this is the code. That is used for for integrating the like reservation reservations with calendar API. So so before you even start with all of this code, you need to make sure that you have um, a const variable with a counter ID and your service account. So the way you're gonna get this is that there's gonna be a link in the description and there's gonna be a separate tutorial for that in this video. It's like a short process. Like it'll take you at least two minutes to do this. And it's basically just going on your GCP and then uh, going, you have to go into API and counter API. And then you're, you're going to get like a piece of code like this, like this. And you're going to have to copy paste it into your full, into your full fulfillment. So yeah, all this code is basically in fulfillment. And then, yeah, you're going to have your service account authorization. And then you're going to have uh, so you have to make your a variable a variable for calendar with version three, <clears throat> which is one the latest version which works really well for me. And over here is time zone. So I live in um, uh, EST, New Jersey, New York, or whatever. Okay, and this is a different, whole different time zone, I think. And that's why when I reserved the table, I reserved for one p.m. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why, or it's something with a uh, dialog flow which they have to fix. And then yeah, I exported the fulfillment thing, you know, whatever. And over here is where I take all the entities from my intent and use them and create them into variables. So as you can see, I created my guests, my date into a variable, and as you can see, in my date, I like put like a time zone offset and then part um, appended it down and over here, I have my booking date for my date, phone number, last name, and email, and my phone, phone number again, to basically um, make sure that the string length of my phone number is at least 10 digits, so it'll be uh, a valid phone number, because just imagine someone putting 911 as their phone number, like, no one wants that. Okay, so then after that, you want to make sure that someone doesn't put negative guests over 100 guests because let's it because my rep my demo restaurant doesn't have 100 seats and also we have to make sure that they don't put a time before now and also before the um year or after the year that we're currently in and also yeah the phone number has to not equal 10 and you know be lesser than 10, lesser than uh zero and all of that stuff and over here is where we actually start creating the calendar event. Okay, so this is basically our calendar event. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. And then here, as you can see, we have our calendar event. And then over here is where we have our intent map. So in my previous video, I did I did a video on how to send emails with Alpha. I discussed. I talked about what intent maps are. Uh, so basically, what an intent map is, it is it allows you to take the entities, take the the uh, assigned value from the entities, from basically here. So you have to go to your intent and then enable webhook call for this intent, and then once you enable that, you can have it have an intent map set, to, and then you can actually use it. Okay, so over here is basically the output code. Um, 
and then over here is where we actually create the calendar event and then we have the time minimum time maximum and then we have uh, what we have in our calendar which is the reservation time the number of guests name phone number and etc etc um so uh as you can see all of this will be over uh here here okay so so if you want me to um so yeah i'm gonna post the link to the video for the service account uh code and the counter id code which you're gonna basically everyone has a different co um different id obviously and the video is going to be linked in the description and i'm going to have this code in the description where you can simply just copy paste it because i had a hard time uh scrolling through like multiple videos and tutorials and i found none no tutorial on how to make a reservation with this code i found like one but like it's the, it had so many errors and i had to like fix it and like the version was like really old now there's a new version so yeah Hope you guys like this video. Please like the video if you found this helpful. I doubt anyone's gonna find this helpful because nobody nobody even uses Dialflow. But yeah, so yeah, like the video. Please subscribe. Uh, actually, you know, I don't really care if you subscribe or not because no one no no one even watches this. But yeah, okay.